Hey, happy Monday. Welcome to Yoga for Your Impeachment. This yoga flow is all about strengthening your glutes, your peach, your butt. So when you're ready, come down to a comfortable seat on your mat and we'll get started. Ground your palms down to your thighs and soften your gaze or close your eyes. We'll start with three rounds of really easy but deep breaths here. So make sure on your inhales to fill up all the way to the top of your lungs and take open mouth exhales just to release, sigh out anything that's already happened in your day and let go. Drop into the present moment, drop into your practice. But let this breath feel good as it moves all the way up to the top of your lungs and then back out on a sigh. Bring your palms together at heart center, soften your shoulders down away from your ears and take one final breath here. Big inhale and a cleansing open mouth exhale. Open your eyes and then come all the way down to lie on your mat. Ground your heels right beneath your knees and inhale for bridge pose. Press down through your feet to lift your hips up and off your mat, rolling up through your spine one vertebra at a time. Press down through your palms, through your shoulders, and through the soles of your feet to lift your hips up and away from your mat. Engage your glutes at the top. Lift a little higher, and then slowly lower back down, rolling one vertebra at a time down to the mat. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift up, pressing down again. Maybe bring your shoulders a little closer together underneath you to find more space in your chest and more room to lift your hips high. Really squeeze your glutes together at the top. Maybe you'll feel your hamstrings engage here too, just starting to wake up these big muscles that we're gonna be focusing on throughout this practice. And then exhale, roll back down till your tailbone connects with the mat. And when it does, inhale and lift back up high into your high, high bridge pose. Keeping your hips lifted, inhale and lift your right heel high toward the ceiling, grounding down through your left foot. Lower your hips down just so they hover right on top of your mat and then exhale and squeeze your glutes up to the ceiling. These are single leg glute bridges. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. When you lower, really try to keep your hips hovered off your mat and at the top, squeeze your glutes together and try to lift your hips higher toward the ceiling with each rep. You can either flex or point your top foot, your right foot, whatever feels best to you, or you can switch it up, keep it fresh. Couple more slower reps here. Squeeze at the top, last time. And then take tiny pulses at the top, squeezing your glutes the whole time. So just really small movements here, glute bridge pulses. And lower your right foot back down to the mat, but keep your hips lifted and then inhale, press through your right foot and lift your left leg high this time. Taking the same thing on the other side. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Inhale to lower and exhale, squeeze at the top. Remember, actively, actively squeeze your glutes at the top. You might already start to feel this burning. You might start feeling some intense activation in these muscles. And that's great. That's what we're all here for, right? Maybe flex your foot, point it, whatever feels best. Taking a few more of these slower reps here. Last time, squeeze at the top and take your glute bridge pulses, that tiny, tiny movement, press down through your right heel to lift and lift and squeeze. You got it. And bring your left foot back down to the mat, but keep your hips lifted. Interlace your hands together underneath you. Bring your shoulder blades under you and lift your hips a little bit higher. You got it really, really strong. Lift up one more inch. 
And then finally, release that grip of your hands and lower all the way down to your back. Draw your knees into your chest and then roll all the way up to the top of your mat and step back into a high plank pose. From here, option to take a chaturanga or just pop back into a downward facing dog, whatever your body is craving today. In your downward facing dog, take whatever movement you need just to lengthen your hamstrings, get comfy in this stretch. Inhale and kick your left leg high. And then exhale, step through to a low lunge at the top of your mat. Square your hips and set up this solid foundation to inhale and rise up for high crescent lunge. Exhale and bring your palms together at heart center. And then inhale and lower your back knee down to hover off of your mat. Exhale to rise and straighten your knee, coming into some lunges here. So inhale as you lower and exhale as you lift. Press down actively through all four corners of your left foot and through the ball of your right foot to really have a solid base for these lunges. Pause at the bottom of your next lunge and find some low pulses, hovering your knee off the mat. Again, just that tiny, tiny movement here. Isometrically, pull your legs toward each other to feel some engagement in your inner thighs. We're here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to a high crescent lunge and then open up for star pose. Send your arms up, open your heart. Exhale for horse, sink your hips down low, open your knees out to the side and your toes. Find some small pulses here, moving at whatever pace feels good so you can take them slower or faster. Reminder, your knees should track directly over your ankles and you want them to stay pressing open out to the sides. So rather than sinking in toward the arches of your feet, really keep them open. Couple more pulses and then bring your palms down to rest on your thighs. Sway your hips side to side and take a little bit of a twist. So drop your right shoulder down toward the midline of your body. Send your gaze over your left shoulder and then switch, find that twist to the other direction. Let this feel good and just a tiny break for your legs in this sort of active stretch. Inhale, rise back up for star pose and then step to the top of your mat and inhale for chair. Sink your hips low and back, send your weight to your heels, reach your arms high, bring your palms together at heart center and sink your hips a little lower. And then you guessed it, we're gonna find some pulses here too. Again, whatever pace you like, remembering to breathe Squeeze your inner thighs together with each pulse and sink your hips a little lower with each rep. You got it. Inhale, ground down through your right foot and lift up your left foot for one-legged Tadasana Mountain Pose. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right quad and then sink your hips low and back, palms pressing together at heart center. Inhale, lift back up into your one-legged mountain pose. And then exhale, find warrior three. Shoot your left leg back behind you and extend your arms in front, creating a T shape with your body. Create one long line of energy from your fingertips all the way back to your heel, pressing back through that wall. And then exhale, release everything down for a forward fold. Take a couple of breaths in this forward fold. Slow down your heart rate. Inhale for halfway lift. And then exhale, either take a chaturanga or just step back from high plank to a downward facing dog. Ground down through your palms and inhale, kick your right heel high toward the ceiling, squaring your hips toward your mat. Exhale for low lunge, step your right foot through between your palms. Inhale, high crescent lunge, and exhale, bring your palms together at heart center. From here, 
lower your back knee to hover off the mat and then inhale, press through your feet to lift, finding these crescent lunge lunges again on this side. Move at whatever pace feels best for you, but just really actively press through your right foot and the ball of your left foot. So strong. At the bottom of your next lunge, stay there and find tinier pulses, just hovering your knee off the mat. For three, two, one, good. Inhale, lift back up for your crescent lunge and then open up to the side of your room for star pose. Exhale, bring your palms together at heart center and this time square your feet to the front of the room. We're gonna just take some regular air squats here. Sink your hips low and back, sending your weight to your heels. Inhale to lower, exhale, squeeze your glutes at the top. Four more, just like that. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time and hold at the bottom. Bring your palms together at heart center. And just start to take some tiny pulses here at the bottom of your squat. Really feel your quads engage and your glutes. You got it. And release all the way up. Step your feet a little farther apart and turn your toes out. Bring your hips all the way down, sink into Malasana frog pose. So your knees are wide, your toes are out. You can use your elbows to press against your knees. Feel a nice stretch here. If you'd like to sort of take this more as a restorative posture and a little less active, you can always slide a yoga block or a couple of books underneath your butt to support you. Release your arms forward and lift all the way back up into star pose. Step to the top of your mat and inhale, sit back for chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink into your heels. Chest is proud. Knit your ribs together and engage your core. Sink your hips down a little lower and then bring your palms together at heart center for some pulses. Eight, seven, six, just five more. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, right knee lifts this time, ground through your left foot. And exhale for figure four, right ankle crosses over your left leg, sit your hips down and back. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, root to rise. And then exhale, find warrior three. Micro bend your left knee to support yourself in this posture and create a long line of energy all the way. Reach your fingertips forward and your heel back and then exhale forward fold. Step your feet out about hips distance this time and take ragdoll pose. So grab for opposite elbows and sway your torso from side to side and just let everything get heavy and drop, really give in to this stretch. Elongate your exhales to slow down your heart rate and then bring your toes and heels all the way back together to touch. Inhale for halfway lift and exhale, step back to high plank, maybe flow through a chaturanga or maybe just come back into downward facing dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward toward your palms and then exhale, lower to your knees and make your way down to lie flat on your back. Bring your knees up underneath you and then just cross your left ankle over your right leg and find a supine figure four shape here. So grab four behind your right hamstring and try to work your knee closer into your chest. You should feel a really nice stretch along the outside of your left hip and your left glute. Just stretching out some of these muscles that we've been working for the last 15 minutes. Squeeze your knee in closer to your chest on your exhales. And then when you're ready, switch sides. Find supine figure four on the other side, so this time the right ankle will cross over the left leg. Try to keep your whole spine flat on your mat, so even your tailbone should be connected to the earth here. Big inhale and a big exhale. Pull your knee closer to your chest. 
Bring both knees in and then rock yourself up to a comfortable seat. From here, we'll find fire log pose or double pigeon. Bring your right leg to stack on top of your left. If your legs are not able to cross like this, you can always bring a yoga block or books underneath your right knee for a little more support. Inhale and lengthen your spine, and then exhale, fold forward any amount. Again, just some restorative postures to close out class. Give your muscles a nice stretch at the end of this practice. So let this feel good. Try not to clench up any of your muscles and really just relax into this stretch. When you're ready, switch sides so your left leg stacks on top and fold forward when you're ready. Let your hips melt toward the floor. Let your head get heavy. Just release. Slowly roll all the way back up to a seat and then just find a comfortable place to sit so you can sit like me or up on your knees and close your eyes same way we started class. Take a full inhale and an open mouth exhale. I started to get really into my music at this point in the class so if you want to sway your body from side to side and do a little dance. Bring your palms together at heart center, soak up all the energy you just created, and then bow forward. Namaste. Thank your body, thank yourself for showing up for this practice. I hope you're feeling good, I hope you're feeling peachy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and hit subscribe down below because that really supports my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.